Has any of the like super OGs uh, from like kind of the whole era before you and two eras probably before you, whether it's like Royce, Big Sean, M, have they tapped in with what you're doing? Man, I just, Big Sean just made my mama day last night. He just, shout out to Big Sean. He made my mama day talking to my mama. Big Sean was humble when I met him too. When I, he, he um, I, I asked him, can I call my mama on the phone? And he talked to her on the phone. Oh, shit. He talked to my mama on the phone. Oh, so you were in the studio with Sean? Last night. Oh, shit. He talked to my mama on the phone. That's fire. He made my day. Like, he just made my mama. That was like a humbling experience. Like, that just was crazy. Like, I was just so happy. He don't even know how happy he just made me. He made my day like a kid at a candy store. Your mom's just like, did she expect it when you FaceTime her? No. She just answered the I, phone with Big I, Sean? I, I, I um, FaceTimed when I was with Chris Brown, too. He made my mom my sister's day. Like They just they don't even know. They think like I'm just a, a rapper, and right. I, I'm really fanned out. Yeah, I just yeah. don't act like it, but I'll be fanned out. So you and Sean, did you work on any music last night? No, but we um we going to get together probably this weekend, Ooh, do some records. That'd be crazy. Mm-hmm. What about Eminem? I haven't. I've never seen Eminem. I do want to do some music with Eminem. That'd be fire. Like, I never seen Eminem, but I know he's big for our culture. Like right. everything that he did, um, and I think um, the disconnect between Eminem and a lot of artists from Detroit now is that he's not a street guy. You feel me? Yeah, like, he's. I mean, he's the most successful rapper ever. Ever, he's the, he don't, he's disconnected from the streets because he's not in the streets. Yeah, he's, I mean, he's a he, yeah for sure, and he doesn't owe anybody anything. Like I feel like. During his era, he did a lot to try to help what was happening. Yeah. Now, I'm not sure it's his job. When it comes to, to keep like that Trick going. Trick, Royce, and all of them, right. that was his era. He yeah, helped he, his era. He did people. records with Trick Trick, Royce, I mean, the D12 guys. Uh, I'm trying to think if there was any. I mean, then there was that whole other side of Detroit where it was that's like like, Slum Village and Jay Dilla and. That's like Guilty saying Simpson. Lil Wayne got to go to New Orleans and work with every artist come from New Orleans. Hey, that is kind of true. Cause I feel like the Detroit artists be giving Eminem hell sometimes. They do, and they and artists in New Orleans ain't giving Wayne hell. Cause no. he, you know, that's yeah. I mean, look, Eminem is one of the greatest of all time. I mean, everybody want to be successful so bad, but you gotta understand that Eminem wouldn't even sound right on a lot of songs from Detroit if you just if you yeah really if you put Eminem on, on some of these records, it would probably sound it would suck. I'm just being real because. M and M, we a lot of people don't have real lyrical content from Detroit. We more of a a vibe, right? And I feel like a lot of people, um, the flow wouldn't even match. Like when it comes to putting together records, I've been especially um, like the BPM level. I'm like, I don't know how Eminem would sound on like a Detroit beat. Like I don't I, like, I just don't know if I want to. I don't know. I don't think anybody wants to hear that respectfully. Yeah, yeah. So I don't think nobody wants to hear that at all. For real, for but real. You guys working together be crazy. Maybe yeah. you go do some shit like you'd be like, yo, I, I I went in on this M. This is I did this with you in mind. No, I had to sit there and and write for like a week. Yeah. And then um get my flow right and be like, M, I got this for you. Like I asked Big Sean that last night, like, did he ever um go into it like I'm about to chew these guys up? But he like the records he been on, like his biggest records with people. He did a song, left for open verse, and he didn't know who was getting on it. And, and so just, if they end up like, going in, that's he's not going to go back and change his shit, because that's mm-hmm. kind of against rapper rules, you know? Mm-hmm. Yeah. For sure. That's so true. I have to prepare for that, though. That's still him. Are you currently, are you writing stuff down when you have an idea, or are you just straight punching in? Like, what do you... I'm doing both. It, it got to be, for me to write to it, I got to extremely love to be, mm-hmm. like... Like, you got to have the beat ahead of time. But if you're driving around and you think of a bar, are you going to make a note of it? For sure. Yeah. For sure. Because like, some bars, you, you just can't. You can't waste them. You, you can't, can't forget waste, them. You can't forget that. For sure. J. Cole, current minority owner of the Hornets, I'm sure you've seen. Mm-hmm. Do you have any aspirations to one day be a minority owner the Pistons, of the Pistons? For sure. Yeah. Heck yeah. What? First thing, make the pizzas $5. No, the free pizza. Free pizza when you come in the arena. Well, if you go to Little Caesars and you're not getting the extra mostis, like the extra mm-hmm. cheese, extra pepperoni, it's a, for the extra buck, you're mm-hmm. fucking up. <laughs> By the way, now that you're like traveling the country, can we have an honest conversation about 
Yeah. The food in Detroit. The food in Detroit is better than everywhere in the country. I mean, that's a bold faced lie. Where do you think you think Cali got better food? Oh, for sure. I think. Listen, I love Detroit when I was there, but I went to like four different Coney spots, bro. That's that's why. Who I, sent you to Coney? People in Detroit only eat Coney at two o'clock in the morning. I went to Nikki D's on Eight Mile by Truth. Wrong Coney. Terrible place. You were supposed to go to Zorba's. On I went six to the mile. one. I, I went to the one in, in that that Sada took me to, which is his spot. That might have been that. It's like in the red zone or wherever on the east side. No, you were supposed to go to Zorba's on the east side. And if you're on the west side, you were supposed to go to El George's. Mm. But that's just Coney's. People only eat Coney at two o'clock in the morning. Now two we morning. did have a fake. I wouldn't say fake. Uh, Baby Tron took us to a place. That was kind of like Raising Cane's. You ain't go to the burger truck. And the best thing I ate, though, was a, a, tr- a burger that Juan got me. You ain't go to the burger truck. Mm. Burger truck? Did you go to Sweetwater? No. Burger truck? I went to the pe- pancake place, though. The, the breakfast spot everyone talks about? That shit was gas. Did you go to Mason's? No. Midwest Grill? Mm. Did you go to somebody auntie in the backyard on the grill? <laughs> you messing up. Bro, You got? have you been to a taco truck in L.A.? Yes. Got me some uh, horchata. They got to get the fucking pastor, bro. They got to shave the meat off of the, the thing. Onto the and you think that's better than everything oh, yeah. in Detroit? Of course. No. You got to go through Detroit with me. Also, best food I had outside of the Burger Wan got me was definitely the food court Asian food at MGM Grand. You got to go through Detroit with me. I'm going to do it. I'm going to show you how to eat in Detroit. Okay. All right. Do you guys ever go over to Canada? I'm a felon. Oh, so you can't. Mm-hmm. Canada is a wrap for, for, for you. For a unless minute. Unless Drake puts the call in. Yeah. At has, least for like five Drake, years. Has Drake reached out to you? No, but I met Drake twice. How was that? I, I, that was crazy. I was at a private party one time in New York, and I just looked up, and Drake was ch- reaching for my hand because somebody that know Drake is on my label, and they was like, this is... And I'm like, damn, this Drake, he just walk around here just like he normal. Though. For sure, for sure. He walk around here like he normal. Then the second time was at his private party for Super Bowl at at um, Dave and Buster's. Oh, yeah, he has those. That was what, what Drake you? is an interesting guy. Was that in Arizona? That was in yeah, Arizona. Yeah, yeah, in Chandler. Or in, uh, uh, yeah, yeah, in, uh, I don't know where it was in the uh, the, uh, the Dave and Buster's. You gotta walk Scottsdale. all up the steps and outside, stuff. Outside Mount uh, Mount, uh, it's, it's the outside mall in AZ. He's so hard for that. I ain't gonna lie. 